In this video, we're going to talk about copyrights, what a copyright is, the rights of the copyright owner, how to register a copyright, and the importance of including a copyright notice on your work. Peace and blessings, guys. My name is SG1 from The Peacemakers. And if you're interested in learning the secrets of the music millionaires or music elite, then you definitely want to subscribe to this channel and then click the bell notification. Now, let's jump right in. Copyright is a form of intellectual property protection provided by the laws of the United States. Copyright protection is available for works that are original from the author that is fixed or is an intangible form, whether published or unpublished. Works that can be protected by copyright laws includes paintings, literary works like books, live performances, music, movies, and software. Now you may be asking, what exactly is a copyright? See, the dictionary defines copyright as a person's exclusive right to reproduce, publish, or sell his or her original work of authorship as a literary, musical, dramatic, artistic, or architectural work. Now, it's very important to understand that copyright law covers the, quote, form of material expression, not the actual concepts, ideas, techniques or facts in a particular work. This is the reason behind why a work must be fixed in a tangible form in order to receive copyright protection. In other words, it has to be on a tangible item. See, a couple of examples of works being fixed in a tangible form include stories written on paper, uh, an original painting on a canvas, or even a music distributed on a platform or CD or DVD or however. Now, the primary goal of copyright law is to protect the time, effort, and creativity of the work's creator. As such, the Copyright Act gives the copyright owner certain exclusive rights, including the right to reproduce the work, prepare a copy of it or derivative of it, or other works based on the original work. You can also distribute copies of the work by sale, lease, or other transfer of ownerships. Copyright also protects the performance of the work publicly, whether you display the work publicly through art or however you choose, the copyright owner has the right to authorize other people to do any of the rights mentioned above as well. See, the copyright owner has the option and ability to transfer his or her exclusive rights or any subdivision of those rights to others that you decide that you would like to use your work. Now, just for reference, you do not have to contact the copyright office to give you forms to give someone rights or ownership of your music because the copyright office does not provide forms for such transfer. So a transfer of copyright is usually done through a contract and it is not legally required for a transfer to be recorded with the copyright office, but having a legal record of the transaction is often a good idea. If an author or an artist creates a work for a company or in the course of his or her employment, the creator is usually not the copyright owner. See, this situation is known as work for hire and can be applied to music as well. This work for hire gives the copyright ownership to the employer or person who commissioned the work. A work for hire can happen when an independent contractor is hired to create a particular work or if the work is created by an employee while he or she is on the job. For example, if an employee writes an article for a company, the company is the copyright owner, not the actual writer and it works the same way for musicians or music production. Now, registration with the U.S. Copyright Office is not necessary to secure copyright protection in a work. However, it does have its advantages. For example, registering your copyright provides a public record of the copyright claim. And copyright registration is necessary for anything created in the United States. Before a copyright owner can file an infringement lawsuit in court, you must have a copyright filed. Now, if you register your copyright within three months of the publishing of the work or before an infringement occurs, you have the ability to recover attorney fees and statutory damages in the event of a lawsuit. And for reference, there is several elements that applies to actually registering your copyright in the sense that one, there's a non-refundable filing fee. Two, 
you must deposit a copy of your work, which is also not returnable. Meaning that if you have a painting or picture or music and you file this with the copyright office, they will not be sending you your copy back. And you can easily do this by filing your copyright claims online, which has several advantages, including a quicker processing time and lower filing fees. Now, when it comes to copyright notices, Previously, it was a requirement under the United States laws that a copyright notice was needed, but now it's no longer required in accordance to the Berne Convention for any work created after March 1989. So please keep that in mind. However, a notice of copyright still can benefit the copyright owner. First of all, it gives notice to the public that the work is under copyright protection. It also notifies the public who the copyright belongs to and the year in which the work was first published. It's also easy to add a copyright notice because it doesn't require the copyright holder to seek any kind of permission to include the notice or to register with the copyright office. Now, the final reason a copyright notice is good is because it prevents a defendant from claiming an innocent infringement defense. Basically, a claim that it was an accidental infringement. Now, let's talk the limits of copyright protection. Because copyright law can only cover particular forms or a manner in which information or ideas have been manifested, known as the form of material expression. The law does not cover the actual ideas or concepts or facts or techniques contained in the copyright work. For example, the Superman comic books are copyrighted, which means that they cannot be reproduced and or distributed for sale without the authorization from the copyright owner. The copyright also prohibits anyone else from creating similar works involving the Superman character present in the comic book. However, the copyright does not prohibit anyone from creating a work about a superhuman character. Also, keep in mind Things that are not covered by copyright law may be covered under other forms of intellectual property. For instance, ideas, procedures, methods, systems, and processes are not covered by copyrights, but they can be protected under patent law. Also, titles, names, slogans, and symbols cannot be copyrighted, but they can be trademarked. Now, I want you to understand, guys, that your copyright work has value, but if you don't protect it properly, you could lose what you work so hard for. Understanding what copyright is and is not is the first step. And if you have any questions whether your work qualifies for copyright protection or would like help registering your copyright, you definitely want to contact an experienced small business lawyer or an attorney in your area who specializes in intellectual property laws. Now, you can find this information on websites like Fine Law and more just by doing a Google research. I'd like to give a special thank you to Fine Law for the information that was provided in this video. Now, I hope this video helped you out in some way, fashion, or form, guys, and helped you understand copyrights and what it means for you and your work. If it did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, guys, that lets everyone know and lets YouTube know that I did a great job giving you information that is needed. And also, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because we're going to be putting out more videos like this. Remember, guys, music is life. We out.